So I want to talk to you about the care of your pencils and it starts with pencil sharpeners. There are some really fancy pencil sharpeners. This one's from Prismacolor. It's got a cool little flip top and it's got pictures here that show me the different ways that it's going to sharpen the pencil. It has a little re removable top here so that I, all the pencil shavings are down in this little case and it keeps it clean. This one here is also a, a removable top, really inexpensive. This one's from Target. One of the things that happens with pencil sharpeners is that they're eventually going to go dull. So you want to keep track of the lifespan of your pencil sharpeners. This pencil sharpener here is very inexpensive and it has just the, the single blade that's on the inside, which means it's going to be used a lot. The one that has a double, I, at least I have an option of which one I'm going to be using, so chances are this is going to last me a little bit longer because I've got two blades that can be used. When you are sharpening your pencil, it is helpful if you take your pencil and you put it in your non-dominant hand. I'm right-handed, so if I put my pencil in my left hand and I turn the pencil sharpener with my dominant hand, what most people tend to do is they put the pencil sharpener in there and they don't realize but they're kind of cranking the pencil with their hand. So the idea is that you want to think of in the olden days with the crank style pencil sharpeners, the pencil stayed still and it was the blades that moved and we take better care and we move a little slower if we do the same thing with our handheld sharpeners. If we do this here, we have a tendency to move fast. And remember, coloring is about slowing down just a little bit. It's connecting with your tools. And if you mishandle your tools and you break them, you're not going to get much coloring out of them. So the preparation of even the tip of your wax, even the tip of your pencil, can make a big difference in preparing for coloring. So take the time to sharpen them properly and sharpen them gently so that you can get that sharp point that you're looking for. So this is with the inexpensive one. And even with this one's a little bit larger, but still I can move this with my right hand and I'm going to get this really nice sharp point. One of the things I realized with myself is that if I sharpen with my dominant hand, I am more apt to go too fast and break the tip. So that's one of the things is use your sharpening skills wisely. The other thing is the actual care of the pencils. The wood casing protects the pencil and gives it stability, but the wax inside can break easily. So one of the things that you really want to consider with your pencils is don't drop them. Every time that you drop your pencils, even if it's an accidental thing, there is a chance of creating some type of breakage deep inside the wood casing. Now one of the things that you can do to remedy that is you can put it out in the sun for a little bit and warm it up because it is wax. It can repair itself by just warming up. You don't want to create so that it's melted. You don't want you know it to be gush. But just to warm it enough to create that gap to come together. I have heard people use a microwave. I don't recommend that because that's not something that you can have a lot of control over. And the other way that people have recommended getting good results from is actually just laying it on top of a heating pad for a few minutes and just allowing it to warm up through the wood casing, just sitting on top of a heating pad. Please keep an eye on your pencils if you decide to do any kind of heating up of your pencils because this is wax it will not take a lot to correct anything that's on the inside you want to you want to really treat these as as uh, important tools for you and even if it's an inexpensive brand this is this is your tool and you want to be able to create good care good habits with the care of your pencils i need to mention the electric pencil sharpener a lot of people are wondering if it's okay to use an electric pencil sharpener with the colored pencils. If you're doing one pencil, you're probably okay. I don't recommend using electric pencil sharpeners with the colored pencils because what happens is when the pencil goes in there, the mechanism inside the electric pencil sharpener heats up, which means that you are putting a 
wax-based product into a hot element inside the electric sharpener if you're doing a whole bunch of pencils. So again, if you're doing one or two pencils, you can probably get away with not having any issues, but if you are doing multiple, please do not use an electric pencil sharpener. The mechanism inside the the mechanism inside the electric pencil sharpener heats up and it creates a softer wax and you're going to gunk up the inside. With both the electric pencil sharpener and with the handheld pencil sharpeners, one thing you can do is take a regular graphite pencil and run it through after you've done the wax, wax pencil, the colored pencils, and it will help to clean and lubricate your blades. So that's a safety tip not only for your pencils, don't use the electric pencil sharpener, and to clean your handheld ones with a graphite pencil.